Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle with a Cincy haul to share with you along with lots of first sniffs. Uh, this, this particular Cincy haul did include my consultant early access of the Bring Back My Bar set. That will be, of course, in a separate video like I normally do with the history of each bar. So keep an eye out for that. Will be uploaded for Monday morning, 4 a.m. Central Time. And today we're gonna sniff through some Inside Out wax collection, along with that Imagination Land Bing Bong scent, the Summer Collection, which I have not smelled yet, um, and then the Jam and Jubilee, which is scent of the month for this month, and Sea Breeze, which is one of the collections that came out recently. Um, I don't remember the name of it, so I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> <coughs> There may be a little coughing here and there. It's just that time of year in Southeast Texas. So, <laughs> all right, first let's, I guess let's start with Inside Out. I think that's what I'm most excited about, but we'll see. Um, the first scent, let's talk about the individual one here. It's Welcome to Imagination Land and features Bing Bong on the front. It is a fantasy of raspberry sugar, cotton candy, and sweet vanilla. Make your wildest dreams come true. So I like sweet fruity scents, but if it's more creamy vanilla, I have trouble smelling them. So we shall see. It is a really pretty pink color. Oh, okay, I do get this. It's, a, it's light, but it is a really sweet, if I can get it out of here. Oh, I like this. Um, I think it's more that raspberry sugar. It almost is like smelling the pink, you know, flossy cotton candy. Um, someone had mentioned in their video, it reminded them of pink haze and I can see that, but without that marshmallowy note that pink haze has, Mm, I got two of these. I'm excited about this because I can smell it. It's probably going to be lighter, at least to me, in my nose, in my house, especially this time of year with the AC already running all day long, ceiling fans going, all of that. But yeah, I like that. I get that raspberry sugar, cotton candy um, type scent. Mm -hmm. Kind of wish I would have changed my wax out earlier today. I could change it twice though, right? Okay, now into the box. You have the characters here. And if you have not seen this movie, you need to see it. I actually, even the Disney fan that I am, had not seen this. I just watched this in the last year actually. And so sweet and such a great message behind it. Um, now how do you get into it? Oh, on the top, I think, which is taped. I, I guess we're confirming this is my first sniff. I haven't even opened it. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna open it. There are the bars. I'm just gonna go ahead and take them all out, stack them up. We're gonna just sniff them in the order I just took them out. You know, as cute as the boxes are and all of that, I don't keep the boxes. Do you keep the boxes to all these cute collections? I just don't have room. We, you know, we got collections coming out all the time, so. All right, the first one here on top ended up being Disgust. Uh, it is set high standards with Granny Smith apples, spun sugar, and a sassy hint of lime zest. Um, I, I like green apple scents. I like fruity scents. I wouldn't mind at all if that lime note really stood out. Really pretty green. Uh, this, yeah, it's, it kind of is a subdued green apple scent. I might get just a little bit of that lime on the back, which I do like. 
So this is along the line of Apple Teeny Splash. Uh, not as sweet to me though. My hand's shaking. I like this. I don't know how strong it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be any better than a medium, but I do like that um, kind of fresh, slightly heavy green apple note with just that little bit of lime that kind of brings it up a little bit. I know you don't think of green apple as being a heavy scent, but it, it kind of is just a little bit, I guess to match the personality. <laughs> uh, all these characters in that movie crack me up. I can't wait for the second one to come out in a week or two, I think, is when it comes out. Next on the stack is Anger, Red Hot Rage. He cracks me up too. Okay, it is an explosion of spicy cinnamon and clove fuels your fiery side. I do have a fiery side too. <laughs> um, you know, I was really a little disappointed when I saw that it was just cinnamon and clove for the scent because we have a bar cinnamon and clove in the fall catalog usually. My hand's shaking. I kind of get a little bit of like big red spicy gum kind of. But then also just, I don't know, like maybe 20, 10, 20% 20 of a clove note, but it doesn't really make it feel fall, if that makes sense. I mean, that's the first thing I think of when I see cinnamon and clove together is fall. This doesn't scream fall to me because it being almost like that big red gum, I guess, for me, and the clove isn't um, very heavy or, you know, earthy. I might like that. I mean, I probably won't buy tons of it, but I might enjoy it at least. Next is Fear, Scared Purple. Stay cautiously optimistic with grape, raspberry, and an unexpected touch of vanilla. I'm not a huge fan of grape scents, um, although the Buzz Lightyear scent that came back in the Bring Back My Bar recently, like six months ago or whatever, um, did not smell like grape to me anymore. So let's see how this goes. This is a very juicy grape. Okay, so it's not a real like heavy artificial grape. It's more like almost fresh grape juice. It's very light though, so it's kind of hard to gauge. That almost smells familiar, like a grape juice almost. You know, I mean, if you like grape scents, I think that's gonna be a really good grape scent. Um, it seems more authentic than it does say medicinal or um, even candy. It's not candy-like to me either. Hmm. Trying to think of what that reminds me of. Some kind of Kool-Aid or the Kool-Aid powder maybe. It's not super sweet though. Hmm. Anyway, I might really like that one. <laughs> okay. Probably my favorite and most people's favorite character, Joy. This is good and golden. Energetic lemon, spirited golden pineapple, and cane sugar will put a smile on your face. If we could all be like Joy a little more, huh? I was honestly hoping for more pineapple and brightness and less lemon. I think this is lemon first. And honestly, we've had so many lemon scents in the last six, nine months or so. I don't really, I don't really get anything 
setting this one apart, I guess is the best way to put it. It is lemon first. I know a lot of people have talked about it being almost a dupe for the sparkling yellow, which I'm not sure if that's in the catalog this spring summer. Um, sparkling yellow it was lemonade, grapefruit, and pineapple. So it had that added grapefruit note that Joy does not have listed at least. But I feel like there's something else in this scent besides what they're saying the lemon, pineapple, and sugar. I feel like there is something else here. And maybe it is the grapefruit. Maybe they just did one little tweak to the sparkling yellow scent and called it joy. <laughs> okay. Next and last of this collection is Sadness. Feeling blue. Dramatic dark waters, evening lavender and bergamot deeply touch your gentle soul. All right. A beautiful blue, really saturated, pretty color blue. Hmm. Okay, a little bit masculine scent here. Ooh, I do like it on the bottom though. It's more fresh than it is. I don't get that masculine note as much here on the bottom. I don't know, I might like this one. It depends on how much that uh, masculine note comes out warm, but it is a little bit of that dark waters, I think is what's giving it that masculine scent or maybe the bergamot, who knows. Hmm. Yeah, that might be, I'm gonna break it in half. Not in half, but you know. Yeah, I like that. I think the lavender is in the very back um, but it is there. So yeah, that's a good collection. And I'm actually surprised at a few of them, um, that I didn't honestly dislike them as much as I thought I might. Okay. So let's put those to the side. Um, and before we get to the summer collection, let's do, I did not mark these yet. I don't think on my cat, on my Um, what's it called? Spreadsheet. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get them pulled up real quick. The Sea Breeze Bar. We're getting there. We're getting there. It is a tropical celebration of juicy orange, coconut palm, and white floral dancing in the wind. This is in the fresh category. I'm hoping to really, really like this. Um, I like all the scent notes. Just You just never know when things are put together and all that, how much, what's gonna come out. And Okay, to me, the coconut palm is what comes out most and pretty heavy. On the bottom though, I do get a little more of that, like, <laughs> almost a green note to that coconut. Not really getting orange and not really getting floral. Those just may be there like in the smallest amount to give it a little, you know, fresh um, floral scent. Honestly, I was expecting more of a salty sea type scent and that's not what this is at all. At least to my nose. I mean, even on the <laughs> cover here, they've got, you know, splashes, I guess, and palm, um, palm trees. Yeah, I think this is more along like palm trees and ocean breeze and um, those coconut palmy type scents than, than it is an aquatic scent to me. Okay, a little disappointed with that one, but that's okay. We can't love them all. And... Next is Jammin' Jubilee. This is the scent of the month for this month. Red berry compote and blackberry zest <laughs> are ready to party with the irresistible addition of sugared syrup. So what is blackberry zest? You can't zest a blackberry, can you? 
Mm. Okay. This, I feel like we've had something very similar to this. Actually, I feel like this is one of the parts that was in red, white, <clears throat> red, white, and berry pie. The red part. That's what I'm getting most is the red fruity compote they're talking about. I feel like if they amped up the blackberry and added some blueberry in here, it would be the red, white, and berry pie. I like it. It is very sweet, saturated berry, red berries. Mm. That's my kind of scent. We'll see. It, it's almost like a childlike scent, though, because of it being so sweet and berry, kind of, to me. But that don't mean adults can't like it. Alrighty, next is the Summer Collection. There are five scents total here. And almost the rainbow, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> first, and the one I think I might like the most is on top. I think I have them in alphabetical order yeah uh, key lime and grapefruit crystallized sugar sweetens a zesty fusion of key lime and pink grapefruit again I'm hoping for the lime and not much grapefruit because I don't usually like grapefruit scents mm. okay on the bottom, I do get more lime, but I also do get that grapefruit note that makes it really tart to my nose. But with the lime, maybe that's not a bad thing. I think I might like this one. I still wish it amped up that lime even more, but I definitely get that bright, zesty lime scent. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna like that one, I think. Next is pink pineapple and sugar. I do like pink pineapple scents. This says palm trees sway over exotic pink pineapple, fresh papaya, and crystallized sugar. So to me, the best pink pineapple scent that Scentsy has is actually also was in this order. We're not gonna talk about it really, but it is the Zoinks collection that was um, back, that's back with a different warmer this time. Anyway, to me, that's the best pink pineapple scent that Scentsy has put out. So let's see how the pink pineapple and sugar compares from the summer collection. Again, my hand's shaking. Hmm, no. I get that papaya in there, which completely changes the pink pineapple part of it. So. If the pink pineapple is what you're wanting here, and you're very, I guess, sensitive to papaya, then this may not be for you. If you like papaya though, I would say that's probably the dominant note I'm getting, but again, I think it's because I don't like papaya. It is a little sweeter when I break it open, so we'll see how that one warms. Next is Sunset Sky and Strawberry. Sunset Sky casts light on vibrant strawberry and white woods. So I like a good strawberry scent. However, sometimes they can come across artificial. Sometimes they can come across as waxy instead of actual authentic strawberry. Um, so let's see, with the white woods, that's it's gonna be very interesting. This is almost a coral, really, um, dark coral scent, uh, scent, no color. Okay, this is nice. Now, it's not your typical bright, fruity, fresh strawberry, but it, it is mm, almost like a candied strawberry with some really warm woods in there that really changes it. This doesn't scream strawberry scent to me because of that woods, but you know, I, I think I really like this. Very nice with those woods in there. 
I would not have expected that, honestly. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, next is Tropical Coconut Nectar. Coconut, peach nectar, and pineapple whisk you to paradise. Um, peach and coconut are kind of hit or miss for me. Pineapple can be hit or miss for me as well, although I tend to like pineapple scents. And my nose is itching, if you couldn't tell. Okay, this smells familiar. Hmm. It's the peach. What peach scent was in the catalog that I'm honestly not even sure it's still there? Mmm. It definitely smells like a peach scent that we've had. On the bottom, I do get more of the coconut. Um, it's a nice peach scent with a good amount of coconut and pineapple. Pineapple, though, for me is probably the least scent amount of scent I get. What was the peach scent? Was it peach nectar or peach? Anyway, Water Lily and Bergamot is our last summer collection scent to talk about. Bergamot and White Musk relax next to pools of blooming water lily. Okay, I love a good, you know, aquatic... Um, white floral type scent such as Atlantic Air. Fingers crossed. Didn't really smell anything. <laughs> okay, that bergamot um, is there just as much uh, as that water lily. And I do get a musky note. Actually, it's really kind of equal of all three of those scent notes. If anything stands in the back to my nose, it's the water lily. Worth a try. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I have a feeling that's going to come across a little masculine on the um, scent scale. <laughs> <clears throat> because of the musk and bergamot, I think. Okay, so I didn't talk about my favorite, did I? Um, okay, let's talk about summer collection favorites first. Oh, I know I've smelled that peach somewhere. All right. Summer collection, my favorite, I think, is the Sunset Sky and Strawberry. It's just a unique strawberry, a good spin on a strawberry scent. And then the Key Lime and Grapefruit is my second because I love, I'm loving the Key Lime in there. And I hope it comes out more and more as it cures. And then next would be the Tropical Coconut uh, Nectar. And I know that smells like something we've had before. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments, please. Uh, pink pineapple and sugar would be second to last. Um, just that papaya note, I'm not crazy about papaya. And then last is the water lily and bergamot, unfortunately, for that collection. For me, because of that bergamot and that musk, give it a masculine, more of a masculine scent than an aquatic or feminine type scent that is my go-to type of scent. Now, in the collection of, backtracking a little bit, in the collection of the Inside Out bars, which are my favorite, let's see. That, 
the fear reminds me of my childhood. Um, okay. I'm going to put the collection, the Bing Bong scent with the others just in the order that I like those. I like the Bing Bong scent first. It does remind me of Pink Haze, but without that uh, marshmallowy, that marshmallowy note, but man, it's good. Unfortunately, licensed bars are more expensive, so I'm being even more picky about the ones that go and stay in my club. Next, sorry, <laughs> is Disgust, the green apple scent. I like that. It's a nice kind of authentic green, juicy green apple. And then fear. I want to say, is it like, it's a ring pop or a, I don't know. It's reminding me of something. I wish I could pinpoint what it is. And then third from last place it, or fourth place <laughs> is joy. You know, I wasn't a fan of sparkling yellow and it, you know, if that's what it's very similar to, it doesn't surprise me that I don't really care for it. I was really hoping I would because of it being Joy's scent, but. And then next to last is Anger. Anytime I think of him, I think of him getting to the, oh, no, I won't talk about it because you may not have seen the show. Um, and then last is Sadness because it may lean a little masculine. We'll have to see. Not quite as masculine on the bottom, but I have a feeling it will warm. All right. So the only, well, I guess we'll quickly talk about the other stuff from this haul. I got three, three sets of 25 watt bulbs. It never fails when family comes over, they need a bulb. <laughs> so um, I can give them a three pack and they should be good for a little bit. And I'm excited to warm the the Jam and Jubilee. Um, I did also get a few scents for someone. Blueberry cheesecake. He really liked that scent, I believe. And then I got he he likes the vanilla foodie scents, uh, vanilla bean buttercream. And I thought he might, maybe, like apricot vanilla. We'll see. If not, though, I, I wouldn't mind just hanging on to it and warming it. He doesn't like it. And I already showed you I got one bar because I did the three pack of licensed bars in addition to the collection. Just get a pink pineapple scent. This is in my club and I don't see it coming out anytime soon. A nice, sweet pink pineapple scent. And I got some car bars. Um, had rewards to use. So that's some of this um, using up, just using up car um, rewards. I got three weathered leather. Um, probably one to give my daughter in the car uh, that I was driving, now she's driving, and I got a new car. Um, probably won't use these anytime soon because it still has that new car smell. <laughs> um, and then I got a clean breeze to put in a closet to see, have you tried the car bars just in a closet? Does it do anything or should it be more of a small, you know, like linen closet type thing? Anyway, one of the closets it's going in. <laughs> All right, that wraps it up. Thank you for stopping by and be on the lookout for the Bring Back My Bar. First sniffs-ish and history of each bar that will be um, uploaded for Monday morning, 4 a.m. Talk to you then. Bye-bye. Thanks for stopping by. And now we got to get this button connected again.